back again in the cockpit of the Warrior 2. Uh, this particular one is the Just Flight version of the PA-28 Warrior 2, PA-28-161 Warrior 2. Really, really nicely modelled this one. You can just see perhaps there you've got a little bit of windshield effect. Um, if you're not in VR, it also supports the Librain plugin. Um, if any of you guys use that, it's really, really nice plugin for rain on the windshield effects. But uh, I tried it in the latest version of this Just Flight model, and unfortunately, the uh, placement of the rain on the window actually comes in so somewhere <laughs> around over the uh, over the yoke um, which isn't entirely realistic but never mind perhaps they'll fix that up um, I've seen other VR models that are able to do it so I know it's possible okay so if we just step outside and have a look uh, here we are Golf X-Ray Tango and uh, you can see that on this model they've even modeled the straps and the chocks so uh, let's just stand behind that. There we are. And you can see it all runs moving and uh, flaps. Bit of a clunky flap noise effect. Unfortunately, it's, it's that loud when you're inside the cockpit as well. Um, and just have a look at this. Uh, let's that turn us around. There we go. And there's the prop. Really nice model prop. You can see the engine in there. And uh, if we come around this side, this uh, little cargo door opens and here's where you stand on the wing. And of course the Warrior 2 only has one door uh, on the uh, right hand side of the aeroplane. So if you're in trouble, this, the pilot on the left is actually trapped, so <laughs> which I've always thought is interesting. Um, really, really nice livery that Just Flight have done here. And you can see the detailing on the rivet work. and uh, some of the uh, metal work just looks fantastic. Okay, let's get back in. So, we're cold and dark at the moment, so let's go ahead and switch avionics on. Now, not all warriors have got the navigation panel here, the advanced navigation panel. A lot of them have the more sort of old-fashioned look. Uh, if you want to pick up a new warrior too, it's about 342,000 the last time I checked. Um, what else have we got? Let's just stick our fuel pump on down here. I think I'll just move that across to the left. And uh, not fuel pump, sorry, fuel selector on left, fuel pump on, anti collision lights, Peter heater can stay off for the minute. Um, now, what I haven't got on is you've also, on the dials and instruments here, got the opportunity to uh, have reflective surfaces on there as well, but I find it really distracting, so I've left those off. Let's just give it a little bit of mixture just under halfway I think and a couple of centimeters of throttle actually I'll use my throttle for that there you go okay I'm just going to move this out of the way for a minute you can just remove the yoke there and you can see there's RPM you've got the heading indicator attitude indicator and airspeed altitude um, there's our pressure gauges so let's go ahead and start the engine So I'm not using a proper checklist to take off today. This is more just to uh, get up in the air and show you what the surrounding area is like. I'm using Orbex True Earth. Uh, this uh, comes into the top part of True Earth South, which is EGBN Echo Golf Bravo November, and that is Nottingham Airport. Okay, let's give us this back. There we go. Right, so let's. Uh, Stick the mixture to rich and uh, begin our taxi. Now those chocks and straps automatically disappear on this model when you start the engine, so I don't have to worry about that. Let's just take that handbrake off and we've got a rudder right to the taxiway. This is coming down onto zero three. That, uh, I normally take off from 27, so I might just, I just go ahead and uh, taxi all the way. Now I'm running with a 1080, but I've only got a 3770K um, CPU, 
and that is overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz but with 16 gigs of RAM. The t as anyone that runs X-Play knows, it's very CPU heavy. And so really, running in VR, I'm pushing the limits of what my CPU can cope with. I'm getting about 25 to 30 frames per second. I've got the uh, level of detail on high, not maximum. And um, let's just go across this way. And um, I've got it on two times anti-aliasing with medium visual effects. Uh, as soon as I go into HDR, it, the amount of processing just absolutely tanks the FPS, so it's not good for VR for the uh, FPS to be too low. Now, weirdly, I mean, you can see perhaps there's that little bit of stuttering in the scenery, but in VR it doesn't seem to matter. While you're in the cockpit, everything's nice and smooth. I'm not getting any uh, FPS lag through my headset. And um, you know it feels uh, feels absolutely fine. Now then, next question: Am I going the right way? I hope so. Yeah, here we are, zero nine two seven. So we will just check right and left. Okay, I'm just going to taxi down this way. We'll start at the bottom end of 27. Let's go to the left of the wrong way a little bit. Sure, there's a better way to get here than this, but there we are. I think that's it over there. <laughs> if we'd gone along zero three and turned right, it would have made more sense. Never mind, you're having a little tour. Up there in the horizon, that's power lines. A bit closer than the horizon line. Okay, this will do. That's just right rudder. And that's right tow brake on. There we are. Let's just line it up on that centre line. Okay, and one thing I should have done is switch that fuel pump off. There we go. Right then. And T's and P's are in the green. Let's go. You can feel it pull it to the left again. That's the prop. Control that with the rudder. And rotate. A little bit late on the rotation though. Climbing to 800.
It's getting slightly confused. There's the wrong one on the left. Okay. So we're on the downwind leg. Let's just throttle back. Check speed. Engage one stage of flaps. Sewage works on the left, it's a useful landmark. <laughs> and let's turn into base leg. A little bit of overturner. That's the wrong way. So Golf X3 Tango to EGB in town, turning for final approach. Stage of flaps. Boy. Hello John. <laughs> Real Zoob has joined us. And you can see that uh, Crash your plane and get into our <laughs> So I'm being told to go and play Overwatch, and uh, that is very tempting to be fair, but I think I should do three or four circuits first. Crash your plane. <laughs> oh, mate. Okay. Okay, let's throttle back. Where are you flying? Left. Down, right. Flaps down. I'm flying out of uh, Nottingham Airport in Tolerton. Just doing circuits. There's Nottingham over there. I'll just fly over that way a little bit. See the uh, cooling towers out on the A453. Just climb a little bit. Right, one of the things about the Just Flight Warrior 2 is that it's got great sound that really model it nicely. So if you actually go outside the plane, you get a different soundscape. I'll just stick my head out the window. Don't do that in real life. Right, let's have a look.
think that's Nottingham University. You can see the Ginogli Centre and the lake. They haven't modelled the buildings very well, they're much nicer than that. There's a project for summer. Wilton Hall, but not modelled very well. Beautiful Elizabethan house for my visits. <laughs> and where they have Splendour, the music festival, every year. Okay, let's get back to the airport. Looks amazing. Yeah, Orbex is a company that made an ad hoc called True Earth, which gives you really nicely blended photo scenery from satellite images. But you can make it yourself, but it's not as good as what they've done. Right, so, you can see EGBN on this little pink indicator, so I'll take me back to the airport. I'll land and then we'll play an entirely different game. There we go. I'll be there in five. <laughs> Zuba, by the way, everybody's got his own channel to go and check him out. Very, very good Overwatch player. Very much worth seeing. Go and subscribe, follow, whatever it is you do. Let's try and bridge again. Model that nicely. Went to a wedding there once. Throttle back. Got to lose some height. So you can see that my speed is. Uh, you see that white ring on the inside of the airspeed indicator? That needs to get back to 100 before I can engage any stage of flaps. So otherwise it will just rip clean off. So if we just turn, I'm sort of doing a little bass and final. We're bleeding speed now through that turn. Let's throttle right back. This is going to be close. Radar. Not an ideal landing, guys. Got no flaps engaged. Okay, let's do it. It's gonna dump. Oh, I'm gonna run out of runway. <laughs> Beautiful, we made it. Oh dear, very good. Hey there, mortal gamer. What you mean by radar? Is that... Uh, oh, there we go. Alright, let's just taxi it back to the ramp. Don't have to do this, but it's good to get into good habits. Now that's interesting, we've run out of road going on the grass strip. Is that a... Uh, Hello, Mortal Gamer. Is uh, Exclamation Radar a Twitch chat um, shortcut? Or are you just really excited about radars?
Okay, so later on I'll be back on and I'm going to demonstrate the uh, Piper Archer Arrow 3 and Arrow 4 Turbo with the uh, Dove Wingtail. So uh, I'll see you guys all then for that. <laughs>